Today, in the news, Iceland technology to support Alaska fisheries, seaweed bloom in Australia, European Union to support SMEs in marine biotech, microalgae taking off in Portugal, tissue engineering derived marine compounds, his Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco awarded. The Iceland Ocean Cluster is developing new partnership with Alaska. Its new technology in fish byproduct treatment will increase processing of fish byproducts in small communities. Seaweed biomass for food, feed and health application is the fastest growing sector in our industry. Dr. Pia Winberg just started an Australian venture Venice Shell System PTI with promising developments. SMEs along the western seaboard are set to benefit from a 1 million euro European Union initiative helping SMEs in the marine biotech sector to develop internationally. Dr. Ilaria Nardello launched the project this week in NUI Galway. Its results will be presented at Biomarine 2014 in Cascades. Microalgae producer Alma is consolidating its development using the power of the Portuguese sun. Alma's high-quality microalgae is a pure and natural ingredient representing a wealth of food applications. World leaders in the research fields of biomaterials, tissue engineering and regenerative medicines, 3 biz research group from the University of Mino is focused on marine-inspired biomaterials with extraction of relevant biopolymers from different marine resources. His Seren Arnest Prince Albert II of Monaco has been named the global winner of the prestigious Zeit International Prize for the Government Award. His Seren Arnest Prince Albert will be the guest of honor of the next Biomarine Convention in Cascades. And now, let's move to the Chronicle Biomarine Snapshot. The world of marine bioresources is a very complex mosaic of fast and changing boundaries. The marine ingredient in all the forms are the heart of our expertise and activities. Marine biotechnology represents today only 8% of the total biotech market, but it will grow by 15 by 2020. Marine aquaculture represents 12% of the protein market, but it will be over 35 by 2020. The marine cosmetic represents 12% of the cosmetic market, but it will be account for 30 by 2020. The nutraceutical itself represents 32 of the market and it's expected to be over 50% by 2020. Seaweed and microalgae producers, for instance, have become key players in the development of aquaculture. How so? Because the development of fatty acids of vegetal origin has impacted the aqua feed industry and the nutraceutical industry as well. As for the development of the next generation of biofuel, the market is not ready yet, and seaweed and microalgae production is used primarily in the feed industry to produce alternative vegetal protein, in the nutraceutical to produce omega-3 and omega-6, and in the cosmetical and the pharmaceutical to produce added value molecules and compounds. By structuring our marine bioresources industry in a total transversal approach, we really open new walkways for applied research, the development of international collaborative projects, as well as unique business opportunities. March the 4th, in Bergen, the NASF Marine Innovation Day brings together stakeholders and key players, manufacturers, solution providers, finance, public sector and authorities, networkers, consumer organizations and NGOs to paint the scenarios and point at tracks to follow and innovations needed to sustainably expand global production of marine resources manifold. More life and Biomarine are extending the scope of their strategic partnership.